Each year, thousands of Americans are diagnosed with leukemia, lymphoma, multiple myeloma, and aplastic anemia. What these potentially fatal cancers have in common is the need for bone marrow transplantation. Twenty-five years ago, physicians and staff at the Feistweiler Cancer Center brought this life-saving treatment to North Louisiana. Today, we continue to see its impact on the patients who have found hope and healing in this extraordinary place. We have been doing a bone marrow transplant here at LSU Shreveport for more than 25 years, and we have performed over 700 transplants here at our institution. A bone marrow transplant is broadly uh, classified into two broad categories, autologous stem cell transplant and allogenic stem cell transplant. Mine was actually a stem cell transplant where they uh, took my own cells and put it through a cleaning process and then uh, put it back into, into my body. And that, along with the chemotherapy, was really the essence of the treatment. Transplant is not a, a one-man show, it's a, it's a team effort. And we have a team of people, physicians, uh, uh, physician assistants, pharmacists, uh, coordinators, uh, social workers, who all have to gel together to make transplants successful. It becomes very personal. Um, we're with them all the time, especially when they come in for transplant. You know, they're here for uh, three to four weeks and um, we see them every day. Every day when I wake up, I try to make a difference in someone's life because at the end of the day, I do not have cancer. This person has cancer, so if I can do anything to make a difference, whether it's a, a smile, if it's a kind word, if it's a pat on the back, anything that I can do to make a difference and to make this person feel like, hey, I can make it through this, there is hope. I feel like, you know, it's not just a, a, a lab sample with a name on it. I do get to know these people, and um, that makes it rewarding for me. If we were not here, everybody would have to go to Dallas, uh, Houston, uh, New Orleans. We are the only center offering these services around um, 200 miles. One of the questions I ask, I said, uh, uh, is there anything that uh, these other hospitals, which was Little Rock and Dallas and Houston and so forth, I said, is there anything they can do for the treatment of this that you can't do here? And they assured me that there was not. In, in the course of that conversation, I discovered that many of the physicians in these other hospitals had been trained here by the very doctor I was talking to and uh, I said, well, I, I think I'm going to go with the teacher. I think for the community, having LSU offering stem cell and bone marrow transplant is highly important. It uh, enhances the value of LSU Medical Center as a highest level academic center providing both research and, and patient care services in, in Northwest Louisiana. As our program continues to grow and evolve, and get better and hopefully bigger, we need community support. Remember, these patients have to be here for 100 days after their transplant. So if we transplant a patient, not just from Shreveport Bossier, but from Monroe or Alexandria or Lafayette, which we frequently do, we need a support structure to help these patients. Our patients have a lot of social issues and um, barriers. You know, transportation, getting to an appointment, or coming for an admission for transplant. They can't even afford gas in their car sometimes um, because they're stretched so, so thin they have three kids at home. The best thing that we can do is try to encourage them and try to say, hey, there, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. We can get there. Just don't give up. And I'm glad to report that uh, my situation after a year is very stable. It, uh, and that's what uh, they're looking for. I, I'm in what's called a partial remission. There are some people who, who obtain almost a full remission with treatment. That was not my case. But we eliminated uh, almost 75% of the myeloma cells. And in the previous year, uh, that uh, has not gone up at all. 
So if, if I were talking to someone who, who lived in this area, I would say uh, this is the place to come to. We want to take care of patients the best possible way. And in fact, when we look at our numbers, at our survivals at the Feistweiler Cancer Center, they're better than the national average. And that's what drives us to be the best that we can and take care of our patients the best that we can. Because of stem cell transplant at Feistweiler Cancer Center, more people than ever in this region are surviving cancer and going on to live happy and productive lives. Though each has his or her own story, they share a common theme. I am a survivor. I, I am, am a survivor. survivor. And I'm a survivor. And I'm a survivor. And I'm a survivor.